This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 11, Wall Loops, Puzzle 13. Writing a wall loop from English. All right, it's your turn. Oh no. Can you translate the English into code? This problem also involves until loop problem, which means we might want to use our um, negation operator. Do this. Take this statement in English and translate it into your code. Write a program that simulates the rolling of two dice. Keep rolling the dice until the sum of the dice is either a 7 or an 11. Hmm, interesting numbers there. Your program should display the result of each roll. Note this one's a little tricky. Hint, in English we sometimes say or, when in cold hard logic we mean and. <laughs> oh, that'd be frustrating if English wasn't your first language, right? Because either the results of a 7 or an 11. Here's a simple output. All right. So if it equals 7 or 11, we want to be done. So what do we got here? We got our variables, which are our dice interesting hmm now what i would think is it the is it adding them up yes the sum okay so we do need to calculate sum so i'm gonna right away make a variable for sum and set it to die one plus die two whoops Okay, that's my sum. Uh, we know we need a loop, but up. And if we're going to be randomizing these the dice, you want it inside the loop, but we don't want... I got it. Control Z on that. Control Z is undo. So I want both of these, but I don't want a variable declaration, right? I just want to define them. They're already variables. Well, I, I should make them variables outside of the loop. It doesn't matter so much on JavaScript, but... Uh, you don't need to know that. Uh, just variables should be at the top. And then I'm going to reassign them here. Uh, I'll set them... What we were doing earlier was setting it equal to negative 1 to get it within our loop. So I'm going to just use that as my standard. Um, ooh, then this sum thing is kind of worthless right now, right? We're going to need to calculate it every time as well. I'm going to cut that and put that somewhere in here. Paste... And then sum, and I guess I'll set this equal to negative one as well. All right, let's go back to the blocks. I think it's easier to read for a lot of people. So we randomize our dice. Wait a minute. Sum's going to add them up, though. What if I... Because we don't want it to be two things. Okay, right, if we're going to use negation... If it equals 7... Oh, I should put it out. Okay. Uh, what did they write? Done. So I'm writing out the, well, die one and then plus I'm concatenating with this string the what the variables are equal to and then die one die two and then plus and I could make this more descriptive or nicer but some this will function just fine try die one is six day two like some to be a little bit more spaced out Oh.
They hit seven. Is it working? Are we ever going to get 11? Yeah, yep. So both seven and 11. So what this is doing is not equal, right? So wall sum is, if sum equals seven or 11, this is true, right? Because it's an or statement. Either one of these, once sum equals either of these, it's going to return true. And this is not. So now the whole thing is false. So the second either one of these is true, the whole thing is false. And the loop is done, which is what we want, because we want either 7 or 11. And it outputs that all. I can make that prettier, but hey, it works. But da Awesome. Let's keep going.